hello. Uh, we've got Jonathan uh, here. Um, you gave us a lecture about CSS. Uh, and the first question, Jonathan, is your CSS a mess? <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely gotten better over time. It's, uh, everything's an evolution. And yeah, it's, I mean, I definitely recognize that at one point it was definitely a mess. Uh, and it was only on working on larger projects that I recognized this and really tried to come up with a methodology that worked well for us, which did work well for us. And now I get to you know, see that applied to other projects and see that, yeah, it works well for other teams as well. And what is uh, your advice to those to come to the cl um, to the conclusion that uh, their CSS is a, is a mess? How to start? What is the s first step to uh, clean up the code? Well, I think uh, one of the, the first steps is to really start looking at the site design, figure out what are those components that you can separate out and isolate those. And through that isolation, uh, that you move towards uh, a much cleaner system and you know just e evolving a project uh, you know if you can start a new project from scratch in that approach it makes things really easy we actually had that benefit at Yahoo to, to actually start from scratch when we were building out a new project whereas uh, when I came in at Shopify uh, things were actually already a far ways along in the project that we've had to slowly evolve the project. We couldn't just start from scratch again. Uh, so we've been taking components, separating them out, trying to isolate things um, in order to get something that's a lot more maintainable. So is, is it rather organizing a process or is it a project? It's definitely a, a process. It's, a, it's about changing the way we think. And you know, when I was putting together the, the methodology, it was really just trying to get people to think more about the type uh, of CSS that they're writing, why they're writing things the way they are, as opposed to giving them another framework or library for their particular project. Um, I'm definitely the kind of person that uh, doesn't necessarily subscribe to one specific way of doing things. And as a result, I wanted a, uh, a methodology that I thought was flexible enough for most people. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, Jonathan, you wrote recently a book, uh, Smacks, yeah? Yes. Uh, could you tell me uh, who should read it or wh what is it about in general? Well, Smacks is uh, about scalable and modular CSS and therefore anybody that has to write front-end code, that has to write CSS for a particular project, I think will get a lot of uh, benefit from this. Um, that, uh, you know, whether it's you're working on small projects or big projects, I think that there's a lot of ideas in there that are very applicable to anybody writing front-end code. And uh, what about the front cover? Uh, you, you put a lumberjack, yeah? Uh, on the front cover. <laughs> yeah, I put a lumberjack uh, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, the Ottawa, where I'm from, uh, used to actually be the lumberjack capital of the world. Uh, we were a logging town, and so it was a symbol to represent Ottawa. Um, the other thing is, is that the, uh, the blue hat that he wears is a nod to web standards, which uh, obviously is the community that I come from. And... I wanted to tie all those things together and just put a little bit of identity and fun into the project. Uh, maybe you could uh, tell us a couple of words about your blog, uh, how it started, uh, when did you decide to, to, to write the blog? Well, it started a long time ago. Uh, the first uh, t 2001, I think, was when I had started writing for it, so it's well, 12 years now. and. It uh, really came from wanting to document the things that I was working on. Um, so much like the book, is you know, here's the things that I've learned, um, and I wanted to share that. So here's a bug that I ran into. Here's how I fixed it. Um, here are some of the things that I think are coming up that I think are going to be important um, that I want to write about and talk about and share. And uh, I like having that opportunity to share with the community. And do you still have a fun with uh, CSS? I do. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, all right, and. Uh at the end, I would like to ask you about the Poland. Is it your first visit? It is, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, what is the first impression uh, on the conference? It's been really well organized. Uh, I think there's been some great talks. It's, uh, it's a lot more technical than a lot of the conferences that I go to, and I've really enjoyed that. I like uh, kind of getting into more of the deeper stuff that uh, I don't often see at a lot of conferences. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. I hope uh, uh, we will be have a chance uh, to visit you maybe next year. And uh, see you tomorrow.